This is our updated uh, small um, rotary attachment. Um, the, the, the posts are a little bit higher, the motor's mounted a little bit differently, and it's also got um, rubbers on there so it can drive on glass and smooth the materials. It uh, just has an a length of uh, cable which runs through, we put it through to here, and then uh, it just attaches at that one there, which is the first one here. Um, that's the, the uh, Y axis and that's the X axis. Okay, when you first click on the rotary icon here to say that you're going to do rotary, it will bring up this uh, fixture setting and because the diameter of our um, rubber things are 26.5, we set 26.5 there. Uh, everything else should be should be the same. So the diameter of our roller is is a is a is the rolling diameter fixture setup. I'm just finishing off um, bottle with great setup on it. When we set up the diameter, we use the diameter of the outside the rubbers, which in this case is 26.5 millimeters. I supply a lock in here, which locks the, cave, the, the, the rubber ho hoses, not hoses, the rubber belts, which stop your carriage moving backwards and forwards in the Y direction. And then we just align the um, carriage over the bottle, so it's centre line of the bottle, in this case. When it tries to reset, it goes back to zero in the x-axis, but it can't by the y-axis. So we just have to touch the on there, and then it'll go back to the position it needs to go to. And once we set it and say, well, okay, we're going to have an offset of, say, 200 here to bring it to here, it will then um, come to that position where we're ready to engrave. Okay, to do smaller items than a bottle, you know, because you know the height is also how much room you have in the smaller machines. Uh, the glass is much smaller, so it's not going to have as much height on it. So we have to pull the two rollers together. So we, I usually leave this one fixed and move that in until the glass is sitting around about where you want it to. We can play around with this rubber to make sure it's sitting on rubber. Can play around with this one to make sure it's um, you know, keeping it from sort of moving backwards and forwards. So we probably put another band on that side. Just you can move all those bands around. Once we get there, we basically lock this end up, this end up, so that you've got your distance, and then just measure the distance between these two posts, have it about the same. Then we basically just move this motor back until the belt is tight again. Move the motor back in that direction, and then belt, and then we can mo modify it for bigger diameter stuff and smaller diameter, and uh, just by moving the two rollers and then adjusting the belt for tension. Okay.